Meet buses 50 and 51. They're both small vision conventionals. They're bluebirds. They're 2018 model year. They both have uh, are set up as 27 passengers and three wheelchair positions. They're both fueling right now, and I'm not going to unhook one and fire it up. I don't need to. It gives you a side look on the bus. As I said, they're both CNG. Rooftop air conditioners. Wheelchair positions are to the front, which if you are a person who rides in a wheelchair, best place to be. Uh, when you're in the very back, it's too bumpy. In the front, you get the smoothest ride. No, we don't have the black grill. We don't have the silver grill. We got the basic yellow grill. I already unlatched it. So, here is the engine compartment. Windshield washer fluid. Nice air intake. There's your radiator fluid. Orange is a thing now, I guess. There's your radiator. Power steering fluid down there. Come around. Here's the left side of the engine. You see the power steering unit. Air compressor, lots of uh, hoses and lines and wires to check out. Massive alternator there. Your front air brakes, leaf springs. Air intake, here's for fresh air. There's the left side of the bus. As with all of our buses, we can fuel on either side. So it's currently hooked up to the right side, but ours are set up so they can be fueled on either side. So it doesn't matter where you park the bus at night. There's some locations I've seen where they can only fuel off the left side or the right side, and that's just wrong. Here's the emergency exit. That goes way up on top. And here's a ground view. The seating in this bus is adjustable. So if the knee came up where we need to transport, say, uh, getting another offer on my house. My house isn't for sale and the world is, wants to buy my house for some odd reason. Okay, so there's the rails on the floor. These rails can be used for tie downs for the wheelchairs, like Q strengths, like someone left one in the floor right there. So that's what the tie downs look like. So you can make this into a nine wheelchair capacity bus with no walk-ons. Or you can add, and instead of being a 27 passenger with three wheelchairs, if you took out all the wheelchair positions, you can make this into a, I believe it's a 39 passenger walk-on only ambulatory bus. We have, when you go inside you'll see the bags for everything, but this is a flat floor bus. So there's no, um, wheel wells to uh, mess up with passenger foot space and then because of that you can make it into a, a wheelchair bus there's a little safety latch up here so when you open it you can't immediately close it you have to work with it too little safety thing pain in the butt during pre-trip but it's a safety thing open no some of these open some of them don't looks like that one's locked up so you don't get to see the fuses I thought I hit it I guess I didn't it's a little safety latch here for the wind 
that you unlock so then on a windy day it doesn't close on you when you climb inside and the rest of the time allows for one hand closing. Love the uh, cross view mirrors. You gotta be careful when you're pulling into a bus stop, you don't take out a kid with these things. Because for whatever reason, they want to rush the bus every time. Wheelchair door, wheelchair ramp, and route numbers down there. This was on Route 3 last. There's the uh, C and G hookups. Those are the pedestals, and then you have valve going to this bus, and a valve going to that bus. I did a video on C and G more or less. How to take them off, not to put them on, because I'm not a training video. I'm just a guy that likes buses and drives them. I'm lucky enough that we have a diverse fleet that I get to play with them. Standard steps coming up. Someone didn't do a good job sweeping. Okay, it looks like fire extinguisher is mounted to the floor. First aid kit is mounted there. Flares have got to be around someplace. Or in our case, there were triangles, but. Trash can there. Where, oh, where is it? There's our second fire extinguisher. California, if you have to wheelchair bus, you need two fire extinguishers. And I still don't see the reflectors. Oh well, we'll track them down. Okay, so here's the uh, driver's seat area. This is a funky bus. I have trouble driving it. Uh, the pedals are way to the floor, they're not adjustable like on our electric buses. But here's all your gauges. The uh, top ones that say wet front rear, those are to release the air in the air system for part of your pre-trip. Have internal exterior speaker for the PA. Top row looks like it's left side is air conditioning you have a space and then the right side are heaters and then there's your defrost controls and down here you have defrost fan brake override a heated mirror switch noise suppression railroad crossing flip off the switch so you don't hear the stereo and you can listen for a train uh, the cluster for the uh, red lights and then your interior door or interior lights and then the service door is with your left hand on the dash you have a headlight switch, panel light, these sliding switches, I'm playing with light here, the second switch down adjusts all the um, clusters, instrument clusters on the front panel here for your light, make them brighter or darker. And then the one over here next to the noise suppression, you see that one there, that's for all of these. Now when you turn the air conditioning on, the driver has their own vents. So that's an air conditioning vent there. That's an air conditioning vent there. Let's see if I can move the seat back any. There we are. That's a little bit better. So the top right, top right, top left are air conditioning. And these lower ones down here, that one there, and this one over here blow warm air when you got the heater going. There's my heater there, yeah. Coming back, we have a fire suppression system on these buses. If we have a fire, pull the pin, push the button, and hope to God the bus doesn't blow up. Coming back, there's your defrost fan, there's the air conditioning to the front. And here's a little warning about the checkmate system. This one's a factory installed checkmate system. 
same thing goes and turn off the bus you got a minute to go back there and push the button or everything starts honking here's a some people are actually into this information I track antique buses so the body serial number is important for me on my antique buses I track so in case someone tracks bluebirds there's those particulars and then we'll come around to the other particulars okay data manufacturer 12 of 16 and it's a 2018 I said yeah 2018 model year so I'm guessing 2016 is when they made the uh, engine and chassis okay there's your ramp cover there's your wheelchair positions and it's labeled across the top wheelchair one goes there wheelchair two goes there wheelchair three goes there and each bag has all the tie downs the tie downs for the floor and the tie downs that go into this rail system up above and the rail systems on both sides in case you want to make it an all-wheelchair bus there's your seats it's California so yes we have seat belts and in the driver's compartment I didn't show you the seat belt cutter but we have them in all of our buses so you bought three butts in each seat the way to tell in California how many seat belts are there okay there's three seat belts so it's three passengers coming to the back there's our reflectors behind the back emergency exit we have extra paneling here so anything ever hit that the back window doesn't break this where drift driver keeps all their, their squeegee and an extra broom a mop their trash can and then this unit here in the back i'm guessing is the heater because the air conditioner is mounted on the roof stepping back there's the uh, rear conditioning unit it says mfm cd so we've got speakers all along the top so here's my child check button as you look down the side these black circles are all the speakers Let's see how far back i can go yeah that's about it can't get you a really a really good zoom lens on but here you are bus number 50 and bus 51 are the same they have rooftop roof yeah rooftop emergency exits in case the bus decides to take a nap on the freeway There's a little thing I never noticed before. Underneath the driver's seat, there is a heater for the driver, and it looks like that pushes the air forward for the first wheelchair position. That's pretty spiffy. Big yellow thing right down there is your seatbelt cutter. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. Uh, looks like high beams windshield wipers are on the left turn signal unit with the emergency flashers. And the right side has cruise control. I never use cruise control on the bus. Down below here, we have a fold out cup holder that someone's modified to make sure that uh, their little cup fits in the big cup holder. And I think we got everything covered. Let's see here. What is. It's interesting. A glove box and okay we got our body clean kit a couple pencils so not everybody gets a glove box anymore or some people call them map boxes a little cubby hole to put your stuff in not a lot of space for a driver to put their backpack not a lot of space there at all i carry a backpack so I have to figure out where i put it in this bus well there we are bus is number 50 bus is 51 See you on the road.